I've been working on uh, a couple of pieces. Um, they're, they're a little bit odd looking, um, but uh, they these two pieces work together. And these two pieces were made in response to Carla's video on the Winning Moves Arts Project. I thought this is going to be quite complicated. I need an abstract notion, something simple that expresses comedy, the thing they shared, the thing that made that really difficult situation um, very difficult to make light of that. And so I thought, well, let's use, let's play with clay and this, because it's such lovely stuff to play with, it's lovely, but malleable. You can use it at the kitchen table. Uh, this is air dried clay we are using today, and um, it uh, doesn't have to be fired. Um, you can make it, dry it, and then the very clever thing is, is that once you've made your piece, you can get some clay hardener, and you mix this powder with water, and when the clay's dried, you can paint it on several times and it makes it a good hard surface, surface that you can then paint on. For this piece, it's basically the same as a slab pot, but it's been rolled and then um, left to dry slightly and then the top was made. Roll out the clay um, and we're gonna do a little version of the fez. Now the fez, of course, in, in, um, in the humor, uh, the time in which uh, Carla's uh, father and 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 uh, we were around and still are um, was Tommy Cooper. Um, he was one of the ones who made us laugh. So let's let this fez represents not only um, the man with motor neuron but also Tommy Cooper. And you need a nice surface that you can just lift off. Think pastry, cooking, kitchen table, nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is a small version. I've, I've rolled out, I, ha I have left this clay out a little while, uh, but it's still actually quite soft. I'm just going to get a straight edge um, and I'm just going to use a ruler and get a nice straight edge, easy enough, just like you would do in pastry. Nice straight edge this side. You're playing, you don't have to like, you know, measure it out perfectly. And we're going to make a cylinder like this one, but a smaller version. And you, if you do this at home, you might just want to make this into a, a little pot. So remember, um, we need to fix this side to this side using slip or water and clay that makes slip. Now, because this, this is sort of fairly fairly soft clay so I think that if we just put some water on that will sort of make its own slip really and what we've done is to ensure that that clay and water uh, are going to really bind them together we just make a little surface that we can adhere this to like that now and you can press that down now that, that's standing, that's good, but the bigger you make your cylinder as a slab pot, the more likely it is possibly to collapse. So you maybe, you wouldn't want to put the top on until it's dried a little. Um, and what you can do is just try and join the inside with your thumb and forefinger, just to join the two and Sometimes, like in this one, I just actually left that because this is supposed to be made of material and when it's painted, it's hopefully going to look like material. So I've just left that like that. So that's what I'm going to do with this little pot because I like painting. Sometimes it's nice to see the strokes and it's nice to see the way that it's made. So that, that's fine. And so um, now if you want to do the top of that or the or the base of that, in this case, it would be the top for the hat, but you could cut out a little piece of card or paper. And then when you roll out your circle, this is a smaller circle actually, could go do with a little bit, being a little bit bigger, 
but um, you you would roll it out and you, you stick that on. So now we're going to just put this on the top. And again, we're just going to create this little surface very, very quickly across. Try and even that up a little bit. And really, you just want, I mean, you know, don't be too precious. We're, we're just playing and enjoying it. And that's what that's what art's all about you know it, it, is, it shouldn't feel pressurized and uh, let's just do a little little uh, bit there use your water to create a sort of a slip mix with the, the water and the clay maybe both sides and that's going to just go along rather the edge you can stretch it think pastry again and, and that can then, that's going to be a base because I, actually I, I do want this one to be a little pot.